When you get a new iPad, you need to set it up. I'm going to walk you through that process. Don't worry. Setting up an iPad is easy and simple. Everything here can also be changed later after the iPad's been set up. All iPads function pretty much the same. This video will be useful for any iPad. In this video, we're going to set up the new iPad, third generation with Retina display. First, you need to turn on the iPad. The power button is in the top right corner of the iPad. From now on, I'm going to refer to it as the sleep-wake button. Press and hold it until you see the Apple logo. You can let go and your iPad is on. It will take a minute for it to boot up. If you've previously turned it on, you just need to press the sleep-wake button once quickly. To prevent the accidental pressing of buttons, the iPad requires you to slide to unlock. Put your finger on the slider in the middle of the screen and slide it to the right. Now you'll need to pick a language. I'm going to choose English. Then click the blue next button in the top right corner of the screen. Now you need to choose your region. This will allow your iPad to go to the correct iTunes store. Then press the blue next button in the top right again. Now you'll need to enable location services. This allows Google Maps to find your location and, most importantly, it is part of enabling your iPad to be located if it's ever lost or stolen with an app called Find My iPhone. It works with the iPad too. I recommend enabling this, then hit next again. Now you want to select a Wi-Fi network, also known as a wireless network. When at home, this is your wireless internet connection, which is usually much faster and won't count towards your 3G or 4G data amount. If you select a wireless network, you may need to enter a password. This is the same password as you would use to connect a new laptop to the network. After you've entered this password, press OK. Once you've done this, or if you don't have a home wireless internet connection, tap the blue next button in the top right corner. Now it will ask you if this is your first iPad or you've had an iPad before and want to restore it from a backup. Restore Restoring an iPad from a backup will pull all the settings and data saved on your old iPad and put them on your new iPad. If you're upgrading, I recommend doing this, although it can take a couple of hours, so you should be aware of that. Restoring from an iCloud backup means you set up iCloud on your previous iPad and chose to back it up on the internet with iCloud instead of your home computer. If you just want to start using your iPad right away, tap set up as new iPad, you can always restore it later if you want to. Then tap next. Now it will ask you for your Apple ID. An Apple ID is your iTunes store username and email address. If you've bought something from iTunes before, you have an Apple ID. This is what you use to sign in here. If you don't have one, you can set one up for free on your iPad right now. The iPad is a great place to do this. It's safe and secure. Then you'll need to agree to Apple's terms and conditions. Once you've read them, tap the blue agree button in the bottom right corner of the screen. Then confirm by tapping agree. Now you need to choose if you want to use iCloud. iCloud syncs your information across all your Apple devices automatically and wirelessly. I'm going to select use iCloud. Remember, you can easily change any of these settings later. Next, it will ask you if you wish to back up your iPad on the internet with iCloud or with iTunes on your home computer. If you choose iCloud, I recommend you have a wireless network in your home. If you don't, Choose your computer. I'm going to select my computer as it's faster when restoring. Now you need to choose if you want to enable Find My iPad. This is the reason I recommended you enable location services earlier. Find My iPad will allow you to find it if it's ever lost or stolen. Enabling it will enable you to find your iPad using your Apple ID and password. This is explained in more detail in another video on my YouTube channel. I recommend enabling this, especially if you've been forgetful in the past. If you're using the new iPad third generation, you will be asked if you want to use dictation. This is a feature that transcribes what you say directly onto the iPad. It can be used in any application just like typing. I'm going to select Use Dictation, then click Next. Next, Apple wants to know if they can collect anonymous data I'm going to select Don't Send. Either choice will not affect how your iPad works. It will not affect your battery life as this information is sent to Apple only when you sync. Registering your iPad makes life easier for you if your iPad is new. It means your name will already be in their computer if you ever call technical support in the future. Then click Next and you're finished. Thanks for watching. Check out some of my other tutorials at a56.com or watch them on my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash a562178.